Well, this question deals with chemical reactions, in particular, the chemical reaction between potassium, which is a group one or alkali metal, with water. And when these two react, we form a potassium hydroxide, which is an alkali solution. And that's part of the reason that alkali metals, uh, this is an important reaction that gives alkali metals their names. We form <clears throat> an alkaline solution the presence of a base or a hydroxide ion being part of that product and hydrogen gas. And we can put some subscripts in here as well to designate the nature of each of these products and reactants. So let's just balance this out. Okay. So over here right now we have three hydrogens, only two on the reactant side. Um, it's going to be easier to balance this reaction with respect to the hydroxide. So let's put a two in front of it. And now that gives me two oxygens, two more hydrogens, plus the two from the hydrogen gas give me a total of four. If I place then a two in front of the water here, that's going to balance out very nicely with the oxygens and the hydrogens. They'll balance out between the two sides. The only other thing we need to balance here is that potassium, two potassiums on each side. And this then is the overall balanced reaction that we see for an alkali metal like potassium with water, products being a, a hydroxide of that metal to produce an alkaline solution and hydrogen gas.